Understanding Lever Mechanisms, Simplified Explanation. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of mechanical phrases, specifically focusing on lever mechanism. This concept might sound complex, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. Let's get started. A lever mechanism refers to a simple machine consisting of a beam or rigid rod pivoted at a fixed hinge or fulcrum. It's one of the most basic forms of a machine, which helps us lift or move objects more easily. Imagine a seesaw in a playground. That's a classic example of a lever mechanism. Every lever has three essential parts. 1. Fulcrum the fixed point around which the lever pivots. 2. Effort, the force applied to move the lever. 3. Load, the weight or resistance that is being moved by the lever. Understanding these parts helps in comprehending how levers work in everyday objects. Levers are categorized into three types based on the relative positions of the fulcrum, effort, and load. One. First class lever. Fulcrum is between the effort and load, e.g., a seesaw. 2. Second class lever. Load is between the fulcrum and effort, e.g., a wheelbarrow. 3. Third class lever. Effort is between the fulcrum and load, e.g., fishing rod. Each type has its unique application and advantages. Levers are not just theoretical concepts, they are everywhere in our daily lives. From scissors to bottle openers, levers make many tasks easier and more efficient. Recognizing these can help us understand and appreciate the practical applications of physics. A key aspect of levers is the mechanical advantage they provide. This is the ratio of the force exerted by the lever to the force applied, effort. A higher mechanical advantage means less effort is needed to move a larger load, which is the fundamental benefit of using levers. And that wraps up our exploration of lever mechanisms. I hope this video makes it easier for you to understand and identify levers in everyday life. Remember, learning English and science can be fun and practical. Stay curious and keep exploring. See you in our next video.